Hey everybody, it's Josh from CollectionDX.com here with another review. It's October. It's spooky season. So we are going to review a spooky pirate ship from Jam Bricklayer. This is the Flying Dutchman, the infamous ghost ship. Not modeled after the Flying Dutchman from Spongebob, unfortunately. But still super cool. Excited to build this. I've only built one other ship before and while the white swan was fun, this is more up my alley. This is set 4,001. It's 1,100 pieces. And uh, it's uh, the box seems kind of small, but it has the right number of pieces. I think there's just a lot of little pieces. Uh, it's got the cool glossy cover with the you know slightly different gloss to the illustration than the box, but... This is actually just, I don't know, I think it's a much nicer box than the usual ones. I will say, though, is I wish they did some cool stuff on the back. You do have a cool little tentacle thing here, but it'd be cool to see more product photos on the around here, just to, you know, close-ups of some detail or something. It's just a missed opportunity, that's all. Yes, we're going to dig into this. Stay tuned. We'll show you what we think of it. All right, I opened up the box, and uh, a few things I wanted to show here. One, I didn't know this. LED lighting kit, LED lighting kit. Ooh, I'm excited for that. Is this uh, stickers? I will say that the, everything's a little bent up because it was sort of jammed in there, so you may want to... I mean, they'll. I'm sure they'll adhere just fine, but these ones, uh, these glow in the dark. There's a little thing, I think they're going to say luminous stickers, so I believe they're glow in the dark for those. And these are just your sort of regular stickers. So are they the same? No, they're different. And again, the box, the instructions have a little, we'll need to work on that. But yeah, I'm excited. There are lots of baggies, but they are, you know, there are many bags numbered the same number, right? So for example, there, for step number one, there's a baggie number one, baggie number one. Baggie number one. I will also say I like what the, what's happening here. Uh, this is something new in the instructions I haven't seen before. Is one is a nice guide to so the lengths of the parts, but also this. And this is a common thing I see often is there's subtlety between the colors of the bricks, and it can be kind of hard to tell what is what color. So it kind of gives you a guide here a little bit between those two colors. Something to keep in mind. Uh, I think this is the right step in the right direction. So here is the final build of the Flying Dutchman. Uh, it's awesome. <laughs> it's really, really cool. Um, it's not as big as the other ship I built, uh, but a lot of the same construction means for like the masts and such, but generally a really fun and, and actually not too long build despite having a thousand pieces. There are a lot of little pieces on it, so that would explain a little bit of it. It went together well. I mean, that's uh, that's about all I could say. This is my first time putting together these little lights on the um, little LED lighting kit in this format, which I'll go over when we turn that on. I didn't even know it had LED lights. Still a couple of weak spots in the build. Uh, most notably for me is the, the front end of the ship. So this is a problem I have with a lot of ship models in general is this whole kind of front end with the I know it's not mass, but whatever the front end of the ship is called. And they do these really great, intricate things. But then, like, this whole assembly here is, is held on with one stud. And it just falls apart, right? Literally, it's this one stud that's holding this whole thing on. So if you want a little more durable, maybe a little glue. And for some reason, also, this part here, th these panels come off very easy, too. Especially when you're trying to get the whole assembly back on. And then you just sort of back away and leave it. Another thing is that these sort of arms don't really connect to anything. They're just there. And I wish they would sort of, I know they're supposed to be like these cool ropes or something, but I wish they would connect to something. But I mean, that's really my only complaint over this whole build. Oh, actually, I can make one other complaint. But underneath, 
it's hollow. So this is hollow into here. Maybe that's where you put stuff, you know, wheels or batteries or I don't know. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it would be solid. But otherwise, this thing looks killer. So each uh, sail has both rope and uh, cloth, you know, uh, sail. They're sort of pre-weathered. I will say that the um, they're much brighter and have more detail on the artwork than, than my version. But they still look good, so I'm not worried about that. There's some cool little chain work down here in the front. You do have to assemble those chains. You get uh, cannons on the side. Technically, the, these ones go, can go up and down, but just a, a, I wouldn't muck with them. Um, there is uh, cannons here. There's like a little fire in a bowl here that will light up when we get there. There is a uh, moving wheel there. There is also two separate sets of stickers that run behind these little um, plant pieces. And I believe I put on the set that glows in the dark, but haven't really checked that out yet. So we'll find that out when we go into dark mode. And the back here is, uh, I would say this is an interesting thing for me. The uh, area where all the wires get stuck in. You know, one of the things of having a light up feature is you have this wire that has to be plugged in somewhere. Um, you do sort of, sort of just stuff the wires in there when you're building. That's fine, but uh, it's just like, huh, okay. Rudder does move, which is neat. You have little catwalks, and I don't know if you can see them here. Let's zoom in. But you do have little lanterns that sort of hang off the uh, crow's nest. Crow's nest, I would call it crow's nest. I don't know. But yeah, you have a few of those and some of them have lanterns. Another neat thing is in the back here, you have these kind of flaming green lanterns here and they're on joints. So this whole assembly, you know, you can figure out what the, the best way for that to display displayed is. I don't quite know, but man, it looks super cool. But if you think it looks cool now, let's see how it lights up. So this particular light kit has a USB that you need to plug. It does not come with a power uh, block, so you, everyone's got a million of these. So here it is all lit up. Uh, wow, that looks cool. <laughs> it's really nicely done, all lit up. So where does it light up? There's actually a lot of lights. First thing you'll notice is that there is a light inside here to light that up. Oops, one of my flags came off when I bumped it. You have a lantern here that's lit up. You have six of these lights on there. But there's another cool light that's a little subtle. But I'll show it to you. It's actually, there's a light under this thing here that lights up all the various flamey color bits there on top of the ship. So I thought that was neat. I mean, how cool is this ship with all the lights on it and everything? It's just amazing looking. This is definitely uh, going to be on my part of my permanent Halloween collection. It just looks so great with all the lights, all the LEDs. And uh, well worth it, right? It's so much fun. I don't have a price on this yet, but read the description when it's out. There'll be a link to purchase it. Uh, once again, this is from JM Bricklayer, and this is the Flying Dutchman set uh, 40001. It's 1,100 pieces. So cool, right? Amazing. This has been Josh from CollectionDX.com. See you next time.